Hey y'all, it is a beautiful day today in Philadelphia and I am in front of Nick Townsend's salon. He is a very popular eyebrow artist in Philadelphia. And as y'all can see, my brows is seriously woofing. Like I haven't done them in since God knows when. Like I booked this appointment probably like two months ago. Like I took the first available appointment, but it was like two months to get an appointment. So, and I wanted him specifically to do it. So, um, you know, I just took the first available and I'm about to go in. I hope he does an amazing job. I usually do my own eyebrows because back in the day I used to go to, you know, I used to get my eyebrows done at the nail salon and the people that I would go to were good, but then, you know, people start moving away. Like I went to this one guy, he was really, really good. And he used to do my eyebrows so, so nice. And he was so quick and so precise and sharp and he moved away. Then it was somebody else that was doing um, my eyebrows. It was another guy. He moved away so when i would go to them and they would get the child they would be ripping my eyebrows down i would tell them what to do and then i would look in the mirror and had a super skinny little eyebrow and like my eyebrows is really really thick like i'm sure y'all could tell but my eyebrows like when they're not arched like they're literally straight across like i kind of got like a little unibrow and then my eyebrows actually connect to my hairline too so um, I have really big brows and my brows should have just never been skinny. Like your eyebrows make can make or break your face. Like I feel like if your eyebrows and your lipstick is popping, you good. Like you don't need all that makeup, you don't need all of that. You 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 really don't need all of that stuff. As long as your eyebrows is on point and your lipstick is on point. That's just my personal opinion. But um yeah. If your eyebrows are not on point, you're trash. Like I be looking in the mirror, like um they require you not to squeeze your eyebrows or wax them or anything for like a month i think so um you know mine was like well over a month and i just wanted to make sure that i could grow back as much of my brows as possible so this is the before and i scheduled the appointment just for the wax but i called them and i let them know like you know, I'm open to get in the tent if he feels as though that's what's going to make him look the best. Like, if the tent is what's going to make him look the best, then I'll get the tent as well. Um, The price, I think it was like 50, 50 something dollars, 50 dollars or something like that. And you had to book, you had to put a deposit, but I don't really be paying attention to money like this. So I don't even remember how much the deposit was. Like, I'll put it in the description box because I just, and plus it was a long time ago, so I just really don't remember, but you do have to book online and book with a deposit. So, um, I'm more than likely not going to record inside of his establishment because I just don't do that. Like, I just feel like, you know, I don't mind if people come into my salon and record, but I just won't do that in somebody else's establishment because I just feel like in some instances it's like really tacky. So, um... I'm going to show y'all what they look like after they get done. I hope they are so fabulous because if they are, I'll just keep rescheduling and just, I'll just schedule another appointment and just come back because I'm tired of doing it. I'm tired of doing everything myself. Like for real, for real. I do my own nails. I do my own hair. I do my own eyebrows. I do my own toes sometimes. Like I'm over it. Like, I need to find somebody that do stuff the way that I like so I don't got to do it myself because I'm, I'm just tired. Why would he put my brows on swim like this, y'all? Like, I knew he was that work because, like, I would see, like, his, I've been seeing his work for a while on, like, on Instagram and stuff. But, like, literally, he killed this. Like, do y'all see this? Like, this is, like, straight up pure, like, perfection. Is no nothing on my eyebrows. Is no makeup or anything on my eyebrows. Like he the go. Like everything. Like I said, I don't record in people establishments because I feel like that takes away from you know the actual entrance of somebody. Um, you know, somebody coming here for the first time. Like you want to have that experience for yourself. But it's definitely a beautiful environment, and everybody in there is like super professional and. I love going to professional and classy black businesses. Like, they are 
super professional. Now, it's May and his next availability is in July. And I'm going to go on his book website and book right now. Because, like, why would he put my eyebrows on swim like this? Why would he do that? I'm a customer for life. Like, he got me for life. Like, I don't know. Like, he might as well sign me up, honey. I need a lifetime supply of them appointments because that was it. Like, this is it. <laughs>